Hey everybody, my name is Chris and welcome to Duluth Machine Works. Today I've got a short video about the lathe. I have a couple of lathe projects planned, so it's really time for this to get a good cleanup. And so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take apart this carriage, clean out all the lead screws and everything, and then I'm going to install some felt wipers to help keep the ways from getting damaged. While I was going through some parts, I found these. These are wipers. They attach here and they'll hold a little felt pad to help keep the ways cleaned off so that chips and things can't get sucked up underneath into the carriage. I haven't talked much about the lathe before, but it's a 1939 LeBlond 10-inch Regal. These seem to be pretty uncommon. There's not very many of them out there in the wild. This lathe is pretty similar to most other small lathes, like a South Bend or a Logan, but it does have a geared head, which is a nice feature. Uh, no belts to worry about here. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to take off the cross slide and give everything a good cleaning. Honestly, it's not too bad down in here. It really just needs a good cleaning. See this movement here? We don't really want any of that. To fix that, we can tighten up the gibs. To be really sure that I've gotten all the slop out, I'm going to check it with this indicator here. Less than a thousand. Pretty good for this lathe. Doesn't get much better than that when it's this old. So I'm lucky enough to have the original wipers that came with the lathe. They used to have felt padding inside that would wipe off some of the oil as they would move down the ways and keep any chips from getting up underneath the carriage, but they've just been sitting in a box uh, in covered in old grease for a long time. So I'm going to get these cleaned up and installed on the lathe so that they keep the ways protected. This here is a tool that honestly I can't live without. It's a safety solvent bench can, which is basically a mini parts washer. It's got this spring-loaded dasher that you can put all your small parts on. And then you fill it with mineral spirits or stoddard solvents. And 
wash your parts. Uh, keeps everything closed up, keeps the house from smelling like solvent. Mm. It's a lot smaller than a full-size parts washer. If you want to see more about how I wash parts, check out the thumbnail up in the corner. These already look a lot better. I like to hit any of the steel parts that have been cleaned in the ultrasonic cleaner with a little bit of WD-40 just to displace any water that's on them and keep them from flash rusting. The original felt that was on these wipers is made of horsehair. I'm going to replace the horsehair with some of this craft store felt here. Uh, this is 100% polyester, so we'll see how it holds up to the oils. This is only about half as thick as the original felt, so I'm going to double it up and hopefully that's thick enough. So now I've got a couple of pieces of double felt here. I'm going to go ahead and get it glued into this. All right, one down. Just enough left to do this flat one. I did the rest off camera because the glue was starting to set up, but they look pretty good. These holes in the wipers are drilled extra large on purpose. This is so they can seat properly on the ways and adjust for wear of the felt. Well, that was a pretty good weekend project. If you'd like to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.